He's not just crimson, he's a dynamo. Let's go. Geeks was popping, Marvel Select from Diamond Select Toys. We've got the Crimson Dynamo. And man, does he look way better in person. Ah! Man, the promo shots don't do it justice. Even though it's not out of the package, he looks great. The head sculpt is phenomenal. I almost didn't order him last year when they announced him because the promo shots just didn't do it for me. Based on the Titanium Man, I thought I'd give it a go, and I'm glad I did already because he just looks crazy. Look, even the back of the package, he just looks really stiff. Though many have donned the iconic armor of the Crimson Dynamo, no man has borne the mantle longer than Dmitry Bukharin. I hope I got that right. Originally suiting up during the Soviet era at the behest of the KGB, Bukharin's allegiances and affiliations have changed numerous times. Having acted as both enemy and ally to his longtime American counterpart, Iron Man, the Crimson Dynamo has most recently served his motherland as a member of the heroic Winter Guard. All right, buyer beware, he's got a really strong new car smell. So he's got a lot going on here. We've got that awesome head sculpt, full helmet, and a removal mask. I'm not sure if that faceplate will fit on there, but we're gonna find out. That might just be for him to hold in his hand. We've got some hands with blast effects attached to him. You got some grabbing hands here. These look like some gripping hands. And then this, I can't see from this angle, but it looks like faceplate shooting lasers or something. Let's find out. Okay, I didn't think I was, but I was actually right. This is a faceplate shooting a laser out, so that's dope. Two laser shooting hands. Open palm, open palm, gripping hand, gripping hand, static faceplate, full helmet. Getting some distinct Obadiah Stain vibes there. Peek under the hood. Do I need to say anything else? Do I need to go any further? This thing here is beautiful. All right, let's get down to business. Get 360 up top, tilt left, tilt right. Excellent range looking down. Up is more like a stern straightaway. Huh, you talking to me? These shoulder mechanisms, they do turn independently of the arm, like big clock gears. Arms get up yay high, wingspan. If you rotate his shoulder gears to where these little grooves are open for the arms, you can get a decent hug. Single jointed elbow, so you don't quite get 90 degrees there. Shoulder does give you a 360. You also get a 360 at the, whoop, the bicep. That shoulder will stand still. And then you get a 360 at the elbow and a 360 at the wrist. If you work with him, you get a repulsive blast at that wrist hinge and kind of a kiss the ring, but not a lot of range. He is on an upper torso rocker. You can get a 360 out of it. That paint is so nice. He is able to lean with it, rock with it, and roll. It's really stiff though, which is good. It means it won't loosen up over time, hopefully. Also gives us some decent crunch range. Berlin wall way back. No articulation at the waist. Looks like a thigh cut. Oh yeah, Ooh, it's just tough, but yeah. You get a 360 at the thigh cut. Thank you. 360 at the knee. Do we have a boot cut too? No, no boot cut. 360 at the ankle joint. And you also independently can get a 360 on the feet. Dynamo can split on damage. And not so bad. He's a big guy in armor. Kick is good. Single jointed knee. Doesn't give you quite 90 degrees. 
toe range up, toe range down. Rock us. He's pushing about seven and three quarter inches. There he is next to Titanium Man. Whew, I didn't realize there was such a stark difference. There he is next to Marvel Legends Crimson Dynamo Bath. Two different versions, two different eras. About the same height. Marvel Legends one, as you can see, is much, much wider. Because he is an armored figure, you can ignore the scale and put him with your Marvel Legends. Because just like Iron Man, you can make armor bigger and bulkier. See, if you want to get a little Crimson Guard action going on, you can mix and match. Fits right in. You can see Dark Star is your average size female Marvel Legends, and she looks about right, scrunched in between those three big figures. And even works with your average height Iron Man. And yeah, don't get mad and talk crap. That was the closest Iron Man to me. I just grabbed him. All right, so I am beyond all in on this one. No complaints whatsoever. Articulation is great for a big armored body. We even got thigh cuts, which a lot of times we don't get with the Marvel Select. We have plenty of accessories and effects. We have Changeable face plates, that awesome head sculpt. The paint job is superb. The deco is superb. I said last year Select was hitting their stride. If they keep this up, they might be the best Marvel line out. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking crazy. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button while you're here. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Share a link with a friend that loves the plastic Marvel Select figures like we do. Make sure to join our Facebook group. Name the groups up in your left hand corner. We're chatting about the plastic in there daily. Drop a comment, hit that like button, even if you're not subscribed, YouTube likes when you do that. Keep checking back in. Hopefully I have that Marvel Select Captain America review up tomorrow. Thanks for all the support. Till next time, geek out.